My name is Alexandra Ivaniuk. I have been living in Poland for eight years already. First I came to um, for studies, for master studies, then I entered my PhD studies and now I'm finishing my PhD, conducting political analysis and running a Ukrainian cl uh, literary club at the Ukrainian house in Warsaw. Uh, my name is Oleg, uh, I'm from Ukraine, I live in Poland, I have a Polish nationality and in Poland I'm attorney. And with my parents, uh, it was in early 90s, I was a seven year old. Hi, my name is uh, Vadim Melnik and uh, I'm here in Poland for the past uh, six years and I came here for studies and right now I'm, uh, uh, I'm doing a couple uh, technological uh, businesses here. First uh, and main the difficulty, as I mentioned before, was a language barrier. Uh, it, it was uh, really it was really hard to me to communicate uh, something uh, into in Polish. So I was trying to uh, communicate it either in Ukrainian or in English, and that uh, created a, at first a really big barrier between uh, me and uh, Pol Polish people. And probably this. We don't have any other difficulties. Maybe to get to, my, of course, my parents to get a good job, really good job with uh, yes, good job. To be aware, you have to learn a lot. Uh, you have to also um, uh, rely on yourself. Uh, there is no support of your family if you are living alone in Poland. So it also a big challenge. And despite the fact that in the internet you have a lot of hatred fueled by different people and agents and trolls and everything, in real life people are willing to help you, they, um, they perceive you as an equal and yes it's true that sometimes you can see that they are not, uh, they are maybe not really l glad to see you but it's a marginal, marginal case, it's not everyday reality. I was something uh, like exotic toy from another country. Uh, the children in my school uh, said to me, Oleg, uh, do you have in Ukraine polar bears or tanks in the streets? And now I know, I have to answer, yes, <laughs> we have tanks. It was something different, but uh, I never was forced. Right now in Poland there are tons of uh, opportunities for people from uh, Ukraine. Uh, first of all, uh, if you are just uh, a physical type of worker, you can easily find uh, quite a way paid, uh, paid uh, job here. And if you are a technical guy, uh, if you are project manager, software developer, engineer, uh, it's really, really, really easy to find uh, a job either in a startup or in the really big corporations like Microsoft. And even if you want to start your own business right now, Poland has really good opportunities to come here and uh, and establish the company really easily and uh, start start scaling it globally. To uh, have a low qualified job, you will find it very quickly and uh, it's fine. But if your qualifications allow you um, and demand something more, it is a problem. For instance, I would really like to teach at one of the universities and I know that the competition is really high and after my, I defend my PhD I will apply for this job but I'm not sure whether I can have it. For instance, also the salaries at universities are quite low. Um, and uh, it really depends. For some profession, there are much more opportunities in Ukraine, like for my profession, I'm political scientist, and in Ukraine I could have a much better job and I could much more easily find a job in Ukraine than here in Poland. organizations that are um, connecting uh, Polish and Ukrainian business and help them scale. Uh, most of them are based in Warsaw and uh, there are two of them uh, I'm cooperating a lot and they actually help me uh, all the time with new leads and new, new contacts and new business opportunities. So from this uh, perspective, uh, yeah, I really have support from them. Because I uh, work somehow in this environment, I know that you have to ask for support. A lot of Ukrainians, they do not feel support because they do not know that there is support, that they have rights, that there are organizations which can help them. And uh, that's why they feel lonely, they feel that, that they lack support and that there is nothing they can really go and not, no, one, no one they can really approach. So this is a problem. In Poland? Yes, I'm happy as hell in Poland. This is my place. 
I'm happy to be here, especially here in Silesia. That's my place. I feel feel like I came from here. I'm happy because I do what I like. I um, do research, I do some cultural events, I, I write books and I'm always in the cultural environment which is really nice, interesting and fine. So you can find a good job here if you really, really want to. to I, I have nothing to build. Uh, I have relatives in Ukraine but really older people and it's something like uh, brothers of sisters uncles of my aunt and you know of course I want to work uh, with uh, people from Ukraine from Russia uh, I want to help uh, I really like to be in Ukraine but I won't live here I mostly want to invest into projects uh, in uh, in Ukraine and help uh, help Ukrainian tech entrepreneurs to go global there are much more opportunities for me to work um, as um, a qualified worker in Ukraine than here. So, in fact, I, I hope and I think that all my colleagues, uh, they found themselves in Ukraine much better than I find myself here because uh, the, the market is so different. So, yeah, I would like to come back and I see a very good future <laughs> in Ukraine for myself.